the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire update video. In this video, I want to re-examine one of George R. R. Martin's recent updates on his Not A Blog website. I was actually expecting there to be further discussion surrounding what he said, but I went ahead and decided to make my own video since no one else seems to be highlighting this issue. I believe he revealed something during his official announcement that should have the fans very worried about the future of A Song of Ice and Fire. In his very recent update, I believe he revealed why he will never be able to finish this incredible story. Now, before I show all of you why, I have to let you know about this amazing new offer. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Atlas VPN. As I'm sure most of you already know, all of us are at risk of having our identity stolen on a daily basis as more and more of our information and data goes onto the internet. What some of you may not know is that the best way of stopping this from happening is by the use of a VPN service. I use mine every single day, and in fact, I won't even turn on any of my devices unless I'm already connected. This month, I've joined forces with Atlas VPN to bring you the most affordable deal on online protection for as little as $1.99 a month for your first three years. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Atlas VPN not only guards your identity, but it also blocks malware and malicious links. Their service will make sure your internet searches are private and they will give you access to online shopping deals and they even notify you when someone might be trying to steal your identity. Now, one of my favorite things about Atlas VPN is that it also gives you access to content in other regions on different streaming services like Netflix. For example, if something's only available in the UK, all you have to do is change your location to get access to it in the US. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a massive discount for only $1.99 a month for your first three years, and don't forget, it has a 30-day money-back guarantee. All of you can jump on that deal right now before time runs out by clicking on the link in the description. I recommend taking advantage of it right now. Once again, I'd like to thank Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Now it's definitely no secret, everyone already knows George R. R. Martin has been writing The Winds of Winter for well over a decade. Even the fans who have never read A Song of Ice and Fire know The Winds of Winter has been delayed year after year. He has missed every single deadline by a long shot. Now, although it may seem like he will never get it done, I think most fans do assume we will see The Winds of Winter eventually. Not only has he already been writing it for well over a decade, but he's also let us know he has over three-fourths of it done. I myself am someone who falls on the side of the fandom who does think he will finish The Winds of Winter. Now, it might not release this year, or even next year, but I do believe we will see it relatively soon. However, with that being said, this isn't my biggest concern. Unfortunately, The Winds of Winter is not the final novel in A Song of Ice and Fire. It might show us what happens next, but it will not show us how the story ends. As you all know, for many, many years, George R. R. Martin has said A Dream of Spring will be the final novel in A Song of Ice and Fire. Well, after you look at what he said, you will see it's not his biggest concern either. Now, I know there are a lot of you who already assumed we would never see A Dream of Spring anyway, but I think George R. R. Martin has finally revealed exactly why you are right. Unfortunately, for A Song of Ice and Fire fans, George R. R. Martin has a long list of things he needs to do, and A Dream of Spring will be near the bottom of that list. Now, let me show you why. When George R. R. Martin made his own official announcement about HBO making a Dunkin' Egg series, he also revealed all of the writing he needs to do in the future. Not only is he working on The Winds of Winter, but he's also writing and working on House of the Dragon, and the new Fire and Blood volumes, as well as HBO's new Night of the Seven Kingdoms, and what will be the new Dunkin' Egg novellas. With all this new work on his schedule, when will he ever be able to finish writing A Song of Ice and Fire? Listen to what he actually says here, because I believe he reveals what his new focus will be after The Winds of Winter. He said, if the Hedge Knight turns out as well as we hope it will, our hope would be to go on and adapt the Sworn Sword and the Mystery Knight as well. Now, that alone will take a few years. Then comes the hard part. Before we reach the end of those novellas, I will need to find the time to write all the other Duncan Egg novellas that I want to finish. Now, this is where the fans should start to get very worried. He goes on to say, there are, gulp, more of them than I had once thought. There's the village hero, and the Winterfell story, the one with the She-Wolves, and maybe I need to write that Dornish adventure too to slip in between the Hedge Knight and the Sworn Sword. And after that, there are more. 
I just need to finish The Ones of Winter, and then do either A Dream of Spring, or the next volume of Fire and Blood, and slip in a new Dunkin' Egg between each of those in my copious spare time, and that will keep me ahead of Ira and his merry crew for a few more years. Well, I will worry about that tomorrow. Now listen folks, as you all know, House of the Dragon is already underway. That means HBO will absolutely want more Fire and Blood volumes before that series is over. They will not want to run into the same issue as Game of Thrones did when Dan and Dave got ahead of George R. R. Martin's story. Then they have already greenlit the Dunkin' Egg show, and as you can see, George admitted that he still needs to write several more novellas to tell that full story. And once again, as you can see, he's already worried about that show getting ahead of his novellas. Now what do you think will happen once the shows are on the heels of George R. R. Martin? That's when he's going to start to feel the urgency from HBO and their show writers to get these other stories done before A Song of Ice and Fire is written. Remember, HBO already adapted A Song of Ice and Fire when they made Game of Thrones. Now that that show is over, they're no longer concerned if George ever finishes that story. They're already beyond that. Now they want him to focus on these other shows that are getting adapted like House of the Dragon, Dunkin' Egg, and maybe even the show about Aegon and his sisters. Unfortunately, I just don't think A Song of Ice and Fire gets George excited anymore. Not after how Game of Thrones ended and ruined a lot of his ideas. This is what has him and HBO excited for the future. Like you saw in his update, he said, I just need to finish The Ones of Winter and then do either A Dream of Spring or the next volume of Fire and Blood. He's already letting us know he's considering writing more Fire and Blood before he finishes A Song of Ice and Fire. You already know HBO's in his ear telling him, hey, you gotta focus on writing more stories around our new hit shows like House of the Dragon. And it's only gonna get worse once they start making episodes of Dunkin' Egg. Like they did with Game of Thrones, the new show writers will fly through that material faster than he thinks. The new Dunkin' Egg series will devour those short novellas in no time. It won't be long before they're asking George to release more, and as you can see, he already knows that will happen. He already knows he needs to write at least three more before that show reaches its end. So unless George is able to write A Dream of Spring in less than three years, I just don't see him ever having the time to finish it. Let's be honest here, it will still be hard for him to finish The Ones of Winter now that HBO has all this other work for him. Now, I am still very excited about the future as a massive fan of the shows and the novellas, but if you're someone who only wants to see the ending of A Song of Ice and Fire, well, unfortunately that day may never come. Now, most of you should already know I'm someone who usually looks on the bright side when it comes to this stuff. I always want to look at the glass half full, but I think I need to start being more realistic with myself. I honestly just don't see him being able to get it done when he has all these new other exciting things to work on. Let me know what you think. Do any of you agree with what I said, or do you think I'm way off the mark with this one? Leave your thoughts down below. Once again, I have to thank all of you for watching another video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon. Bye.